Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. Well, it felt so much better outside uh, today. Our five day heat wave certainly over. It began on Saturday. It ended yesterday with a high temperature of 90 degrees. But today the high temperatures were in the 70s and 80s. 77 in Groton was the high. Bridgeport a high of 79, but it made it up to at least 83 in Hartford, 83 in Meriden. These temperatures are still warmer than normal, but a lot better than it was on the last couple of days. A beautiful sky over Hartford, just a few clouds in the distance. It's still 83 degrees there. Very little in the way of wind. Waterbury partly cloudy in 75, a south southeasterly wind, and there's a right cam in New London where the current temperature is 67, and there's a southeasterly wind from off uh, Long Island South. So you can see Groton is the cool spot at 67 along with New London. Elsewhere, we're still 83 in Hartford, 82 in Windsor Locks, and Danbury is uh, 83. And we got a uh, east to southeasterly wind along the shoreline. That's because high pressure is now offshore. A southerly wind across much of the state, and soon that southerly wind will likely reach Hartford and Windsor Locks as well. But the humidity is low. Dew points are in the 40s and 50s, except for, uh, 61 in Bridgeport. That's because of the wind coming in from off the waters of Long Island Sound. Now, you notice that... Dew points in the northeast are really low. For example, Burlington, Vermont, the dew point is 38. Bangor, Maine, 31. That high humidity that we had to deal with for many days is now suppressed to our south as uh, high pressure is the dominating force right now. And along that boundary, we got uh, showers and thunderstorms. That's where they're going to stay the next uh, day or so as a wave of low pressure develops on that front. But here in New England, we're going to be far enough north away from that system so we don't have to worry about any rain tomorrow. So Thursday, uh, as we go through Thursday evening, this evening, partly cloudy skies, partly cloudy tomorrow morning, no rain in the forecast for tomorrow. That all stays to our south. And then on Saturday morning, there could be a little bit of a disturbance moving through with a few scattered showers. It's moving through fast, though, so they'll exit quickly, and then we'll likely see some partial clearing uh, for the afternoon hours. So lows tonight, 50s. This is going to be really nice later on tonight. You might want to open up the windows late tonight and early tomorrow morning to let in that cool air. And then tomorrow will be cooler than today. In fact, a little cooler than normal with highs in the 70s across much of the state. 70s on Saturday as well with that chance for a morning shower. Sunday, 75 to 80 with partly sunny skies. There may be an afternoon shower or thunderstorm. And then it looks like it's going to be unsettled from time to time Monday, Tuesday. And a Thursday with uh, scattered showers will start out in the low 80s next week, then cool off to the 70s by midweek and Thursday. And for the shoreline tomorrow, it looks like we'll be in the 70s for the next seven days. Looking pretty good, Bruce. Thank you.